Do not expect that to work immediately. Actually, that's fine. Hello? Hello? It's me. Can you hear me? Hello? Cool. Ugh. Welcome to the Ayla show. where we talk about things um, that I have made, I guess, or you have made. Honestly, I'm not that picky. Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me? Sweet. Excellent. Cool, well, welcome. On. I'm like, should I, should I share a link to this thing now? Hold on. Wait, how do I get a link? Oh no, I did. I already linked it. Okay. Well, welcome to the stream. You guys want to look at some data together? I haven't actually taken a look at my data since it all exploded. Um, if you don't know, I ran a big kink survey and the sample size is now freaking huge. Very exciting. By freaking huge, we have about 270,000 people. Um, most of them female. I don't... How do I... I just don't, I just don't like that. <laughs> Cause the, okay. Yeah, I, I don't have like, like a very fast way of looking at this, but um, I can look at things. For example, I did a bestiality blog post. I can check to see how much it changed there. If you're down. Um, slowly loading up my things. My pie, I can't, my computer's not good enough to run anything besides my Python. <laughs> I mean, it might be an artifact of how terrible I am at coding. Thank you, Skeeter. Okay. Okay. I need to like uh, fix my computer setup. I'm a little low. Autofocus, please. Yes, thank you. Okay. Honestly, I, j I think I just like don't intuitively get why people criticize my sampling so much. I get that selection bias is a thing and I'm sure selection bias impacts my results to some degree, but I would be really surprised if it impacts my results significantly. And I feel like the way that people are criticizing the sampling, they're like indicating that it's like a significant sampling problem. And, but again, I was already checking the the difference before it went viral because I, I can see the different sources, you know? I mean, at least I track some of the sources. Running my analytics in the cloud, what does that mean? Females do have kinks, believe it or not. Come on, don't crash on me now, fucking. Okay, there we go, oh, okay, that wasn't crashing. I just was asking it to do a lot. Okay, I just loaded a sheet and I forgot what sheet it was. So now I have to do it again. I know, oh, it went viral on TikTok. Basically, so which is good. Like I basically designed it to go viral, and I and so like I I would be like, oh, I was very lucky, like it happened to. But no, I explicitly designed this so that something like this would happen. I optimized for this, so I'm going to claim credit. So some of so it, it, surprising things. I so there's some things that are interesting, not necessarily surprising. Um, one is that very little seems to correlate with childhood experiences. 
Also, we don't have to like only talk about my survey. We can talk about other things also. I, I made it that when you take the survey, you get a character result. Thank you, are, which is actually, I actually put a lot of work into it. Uh, I I built it, I had a bunch, like over a thousand, I think 1400 people on average, rate how taboo a bunch of kinks were. And then I also had them rate how taboo various characters were, like key characters. So I could match the characters to like a taboo score in general. Um, and then I had, so if you take the survey, you get a taboo score based on how taboo people rated the things that you're into. And it's like very complicated. <laughs> it took me a really long time to do this. I probably didn't have to do it this accurately. Like I could have just like slapped in whatever numbers and then just called it a day. But it's it's even, it's, it depends on even your um, gender. There's some kinks that are very gendered for how taboo they are. For example, if a guy likes pegging, very different from if a woman likes pegging. There are two different levels of taboo. So the two different ratings. So if you take the survey and you mark being a dude, uh, and then you say you're into pegging, you get a different kink score than if you're a woman who marks being into pegging. So there's some of this, like this is how specific it is. It's also like multiplied by degree of interest. So if you're only slightly into a very taboo thing, this is rated as like differently depending on being very into a not very taboo thing, that sort of thing. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna upload gender raw scores right now. Um, it did not, well, I don't know. So I have a friend who runs a bunch of like personality testing stuff and he says that the most of the people who take his surveys are young females. He says that like personality quizzes where you get a result, very popular in the young female population. Uh, and that's just what I'm seeing here. My my thing went very viral within the, oh yeah, that's true. I can post, if you just, you know, I'm just, if you just Google big king, it'll be the top result. So I'm, I would link it, but I'm lazy. And yeah, I did all my coding. I had help from a lot of people, but I typed out basically all of the code that I'm using. And it's a lot because I didn't know what I was doing when I designed my survey. I mean, I knew like a little bit what I was doing, but I'd never like designed a survey such would be like, like intractable with code afterwards. And I learned a lot. Dude, I know this is, look at this. You like my face tats? I did put some brow liner on top, but okay. What do you guys want to know? You guys want to know anything? See, this is one thing. I thought that once I had the data, people would just be dumping a bunch of questions on me, but people would just like, tell me the interesting thing. And I'm like, you don't have a question? Like, like, oh, is this thing correlated with this other thing? The male, I had people rate te Trevor. I had people, so I gave people a question. If a man is into blank, uh, how taboo would this be? And so people would rate it. And then I would also have if a females into blank have taboo. So I did this mostly just for the gender gapped kinks. Um, so things that are like like dominant submission flavor, that sort of thing. Um, and and so I took the the average scores, the average ratings from how people rated that, and that's what I included. That's how you get your score in the survey. Okay, I'm getting a little drunk. I can feel it. The end goal. Well, it's just, it's it's complicated, right? So I have like a bunch of different questions that I wanted to answer. I'm like, is BDSM correlated with childhood abuse? You know, very classic shit. But like, if you're building a survey, you want to get a good sample size. Uh, you're like kind of mining the population for attention. So you want to be as efficient as possible. And the way to be as efficient as possible is to basically have one big survey where you input all of your uh, your data like at once, so you can check all the correlates to all of the things. So that's what I did. Uh, my survey is gigantic. It, it's shorter or longer for very different people depending on what your answers are, but it's gigantic. I don't want to do a bigger survey than this in the future. I don't. This is, it's, it's, uh, like I said, a thousand data points. Um, you don't typically answer a thousand questions when you're taking the survey unless you mark that you're into everything. So. Thank you, Rob, for pointing that out. Uh, link to the survey, just Google big kink survey or literally just kink survey. Um, so yeah, 
One interesting thing is that trans people seem to have a different type of sexuality from both cis women and uh, men. <laughs> yeah. I might be doing some of it subconsciously. I don't know. Among strictly very monogamous people, what is the biggest correlate with the West Coast? Okay. Okay. I have to do, I do have to disappoint you. So I was unable to download my uh, location-based data. I do have ethnicity-based data if you want me to look at that. AGP, um, almost definitely, Norman, but let me double check. Um, wait, I just realized I, my brain like knew what AGP is and then suddenly I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, I don't, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, it depends on how you define it. Like, uh, they, uh, they, they do have greater rates of reporting being aroused by the thought of themselves masturbating as a female and as themselves existing as a female. Um, yes, but I do want to point out that cis women also had surprisingly high rates of being aroused by the thought of themselves masturbating as a woman. Um, so both cis women and trans women are aroused by themselves masturbating as a woman. Trans women just score a little bit higher. I did not capture income on this one. I did ask about uh, what class were you raised, which probably correlates a bit. Oh, I did ask about IQ. I, I think I may not have actually captured that data correctly though. No, I didn't, fuck. I'm sorry, I can't, I'm like, I'm a little stuck with my data right now because if I want to actually go in on my code and process it, it will eat up all of my computer. But I did, I did look at IQ data, but I didn't, didn't get it, get it in my spreadsheet. But, but yeah, the, the, uh, yeah, I, well, I asked people two questions. I asked, have you ever had your IQ officially tested? And if they say no, they skip to the next question. If they say yes, then I ask what was their score? So if the official testing question, is like a little bit of a filter. Like it prevents people from doing like an online, I did specify, I believe like not, I'm not talking about like an online free test thing talking about like a proctored exam. I did not ask about education level like an idiot. I can't believe I asked all of these questions and not about education level. I really can't believe it. Um, I did ask about where you live, but <laughs> I didn't go to that. But I can, let me see, maybe, um, yeah. So I have, I have a base rates from locations, but yeah. No, I'm using Python, unfortunately. I was like really torn between using Python and R. And I swear to God, I did like a poll for 50-50. I wanted to, it was really agonizing to choose, but I decided to go with something that like might eventually one day be generalizable. There's a lot of non-kink correlations. Like for example, people's self-rated attractiveness is correlated with, actually, let me just like upload my fucking correlation sheet. I was a little bit late because I was trying to like run my data again right before I logged on and then it took longer than I expected because I have a fucking massive sample. So I apologize. I was almost late. But hold on. I, I have the sheets for males and females separately. Yeah, I didn't ask what are you were raised, Brian. What is effective dimensionality? Import, upload. Okay. Um, there, I, I believe there isn't convo. I mean, I'm loading up my spreadsheet to check again, but uh, from what I remember last time I checked this, there's not really a correlation. There's surprisingly no, there's like weirdly little correlation between kinks and other shit. There's correlation between kinks and other kinks. There's like very strong clusters about what people find hot, but there's not really correlation between kinks and things that are not kinks. Sure, but can you can you tell me what effective dimensionality is though? Or at least e e explain like I'm five. My spreadsheet's loading, but I'm gonna look up um, 
I, I, can, I can, in theory, run a factor analysis on this. But one, I don't like deeply understand how factor analysis works yet. And so I'm like afraid to do things that I don't deeply understand. Like I think I deeply understand how correlations work, like at least enough that I feel comfortable talking about them. Um, but I have not gotten to the point where I'm like, I, I like fundamentally grok the nature of factor analysis. So I'm like a little bit scared <laughs> to, to speak about it. Um, but I also don't know exactly, I haven't looked into it. I haven't put in a ton of effort yet. How to factor analysis this amount of data? I have like one tool that Spencer Greenberg built that I use for smaller amounts, which is kind of fun, but it just will not process this thing. And like you could probably maybe you can make it by if you like squash the data is there a term like if you like average every 100 scores no that makes sense that probably doesn't make sense you wouldn't want to do that uh the strongest correlation between non-king correlation and a king score <sighs> it'd be hard to look at i mean i would it'd be hard to look at i don't because i don't have them like divided for like king versus non-king questions Okay, but I have my, my female spreadsheet now, my female correlation, and we wanted to check what mental illnesses. Okay, I can look at my total mental illness. I have a score of how many boxes people checked when I asked them to check the mental illness box for women, or females rather. Females are not necessarily women. Um, I have 270,000 answers. Any tools to visualize many pairs of nonlinear correlations? No, I do not. Don't, I'm not even sure I deeply understand what that means. It's funny how people like talk about whether my data is big or not. Some people are like, well, you're, you only have a tiny like amount of data. And other people are like, you have the biggest data I've ever seen. It's like really funny because like, it depends like what field people are coming from. What do you mean the top kink clusters? There's like, I, there's a couple, there's like, like a gender, like based on, this is, I wouldn't, this is not scientific. This is based on like my vibe from looking at correlations for a lot. There seems to be like a gender play body warp cluster. So things that have to do with like your own body taking other shapes or like modifying, um, this is very gender based. There's like, there's like a disgust, sadism, brutality kinks. There's like the vanilla cluster. Uh, there's like, uh, Eagerness slut cluster. Okay, wait, what am I? I'm like also probably missing some of your. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so I'm looking at I'm looking at female correlations right now. So this is for biological females. Should I get drunker? Should I lose a couple brain cells? Should I drop a few IQ points while I'm trying to work on this? Cause that's what this is. This is IQ lowering juice. I did have like asexual people complain that I didn't have an asexual option, but honestly I was like, why are you taking a kink survey if you're asexual? Maybe I don't understand. I did not ask about condom use. God, why, why is like all, I feel like I asked about everything in the book and somehow you guys are asking me all the questions and things I did not ask about. Yeah, I do. I do have that, Norman. Let me let me find it. Uh, I made that especially for situations like this. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't ask a lot about behavior. So the th my, my, oops, wrong, wrong thing. My, my survey was targeted mainly at what are the rates of fetishes and what are like past experiences that might be correlated? Cause what are that explore what is the cause? I did not ask very much about current behavior, like how sexually successful you are. If you've acted on the kinks at all, I did not ask about that. So just don't, don't put your hopes back down on the ground there. Okay. Okay, can you see that link? I hope you can. Cool, that should be the uh, all of the questions and also the options that people were given to answer.
and I have data on most of this. Some of them, like I haven't fully converted from like whatever form into the form that Python can understand yet, but the vast like 99% should be done. I did not ask about dick size, no, uh, no. I am real sorry. It's nice to like have a niche. <laughs> The average age was, I think, uh, I need to double check, but I think it was about 22, Patrick. It was very young. Okay, we're looking at total mental illness among females. So do you want to guess what the strongest correlation among biological females with mental illness is? Neg both negative and positive in either direction. It's a little politically incorrect, we'll say. No, I did ask about... Boob size, Gasson, Gasson. Uh, yes, Con Volk, there is. I can check this for you. Wait, no, sorry. Wait, put the, just hold that. I got to check the total mental illness first. If I'm navigating away from this, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to forget. I will release the raw data. Yes, JD. Uh, yeah, trip basically. Well, basically, if somebody identifies as cis, the, the strongest is the negative 0.28. The correlation for if somebody identifies as cis and the amount of mental illnesses they chose. This includes gendered. Um, yeah. The next, so these are the negative correlations. I don't even know how licensing data work. I didn't even know it was a thing. Nobody has reached out to license my fucked up kink data. Okay. The a point two, negative point two correlation is the age of incest fetish beginning. So, I sh maybe I should drink a little less. I don't know. I feel like it'll be fun. But I'm like, wait, I have to think about numbers. This was possibly a bad idea. Um, so basically, people who have their fetishes start earlier tend to have more mental illness, their incest fetish. Same with creepiness. Uh, total amount of illness is negatively correlated with being raised in a clean home. Yeah. Like 0.02, uh, I think like roughly, people in this chat can probably explain it better than me, but I understand like 0.02 to mean that like, I usually square it, like, it, um, like the thing that explains like, uh, it would be like 4% of the variance. So if it's, it's and in the field that I'm working in, 0.2 is like a decent correlation. In a lot of other fields, it's like a negligible correlation. Um, like, for example, height and weight in people is correlated about 0.5, just to give you like some sort of calibration. I think a sexual assault in childhood and sexual assault as an adult is correlated around 0.4. And you just like square it and that's like roughly I, I think i think it's just a rule i don't think it's accurate but i think if you square it, it's like roughly supposed to explain the variance so if you have like um if something that's probably at 0.4 um then you can predict one factor with 16 percent more accuracy if you know the other correct me if i'm wrong because i actually don't know this this is just what was in my head and i'm realizing i never actually checked with anybody outside of it so like if somebody's like yes i was molested as a child you're like ah you're so you're 16 percent more likely to have been sexually assaulted as an adult if the correlation is 0.4 um so so in my data it's like actually quite rare to get something as strong as 0.4 um, I personally start really paying attention. I like usually my cutoff for like this is worth talking about versus this is not worth talking about is 0.12. Okay, all right. The 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 statistician, the local statistician is yelling at me. That means that I have failed at understanding the thing I'm talking about. <laughs> can can you uh, explain the correct version of this? Um, heights and weights. Didn't I actually like fucked up with my programming earlier when I was talking about the heights? To be fair, I was saying that this, I don't think this is like literally true. It's just the rule of thumb that I use. Okay. I don't think this is like a, like an actually reflected thing. Okay. But we're, we're negative 0.2 fetish instant start, 0.18 cleanliness, negative 0.18 associated with parental presence. 
I didn't know what you mean by variable isolation, but question wording, I have a big write up about my questions. I don't know. The question wording, I don't know, it depends on the question, right? I do feel like my strength in all of this is designing well-worded questions, if I had to say. That would probably be my top score. Um, I think it's sister, sister, Gassan. I have, I have my, uh, where to go? You can look at, this is before the massive influx of data. This one I had, what, 40,000? Uh, you should double check. I just, it's off the top of my head, my memory is sister, sister. You should look at the graph where I put it down there somewhere. Um, Dr. Beach, not really. I, I'm like, I personally appear to be pretty abnormal given my data. Level of attraction to the, I did not ask about attraction to those with mental illness. Um, it looks like people with higher mental illness tend to have earlier start times for fetishes in general, like all of them. I, I know the concept of factor analysis, but I don't know what uh, mixture modeling is. Okay, let's see. The total mental illness score was correlated at oops, 0.33 with being sexually assaulted in childhood. This is again, this is for females. Wow, I'm so. Yeah, which is pretty decent. It's a pretty decent correlation, I uh, might I say. Say we're measuring something real there. I don't know, it better means it's stronger. If it's a higher number, it's stronger. A correlation of, of one is you're measuring basically the same variable. Like there's no difference. I'm not sure I understand what you're saying, Michael. I did split mental illness up by type of mental illness. You can ask me about a specific mental illness and I'll look at it. I mean, the comment, I mean, like my sample size is massive. So like, at least for, at least for these main questions, I'm not looking at confidence intervals right now. At standard deviation, you can ask me about, and I can probably find that some, I don't have it in here. Oh, what do you mean by independent? Like, what what is independence? I did allow minors to take the survey, yes. Ah, uh, thank you. Hey, it's such a relief. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm like a like a like a amateur kind of piecing things together. And so it's, it's nice when people like bits of it. I linked my survey questions earlier. Okay. Michael, I'm, I'm too drunk for this. Dude, I am extremely disappointed. So like, I don't know a ton about stats, but I do know a lot about survey design. Uh, based on doing Twitter polls, like I like a lot of like to iterate Twitter polls where like I change the wording slightly to see how it impacts the results. And the wording, it matters so much, it's so much. And I, it's just like, I can't believe it's not discussed more when I see people criticizing research. Everybody's like, oh, you didn't hurdy dirty dirty, you did fucking pee hacking or whatever. And they're never like, well, the question that you asked actually probably is like mixing up a bunch of things. I can look at autism. I'm looking at autism. Sorry, this is like the least efficient stream I've ever done. Um, how was Mr. Go was with 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 Mr. Go was fun. He like sent me some emails afterwards that made me realize like actually this is not a person I want to interact with. 
Um, but the conversation itself before the emails was really nice. Yeah, I've, I like I agonized a lot over what word to use when asking people if something aroused them. Do I use arouse, sexy, erotic? Do I say, did you masturbate to this? Like all of these words have really different things. I ended up saying like using like a really specific. I think I said like, in scenarios with this element, do you find it erotic or something like that? Okay, wait, I'm checking for autism, I'm sorry. I'm like also not totally following the chat. So if I miss like an important thing, feel free to notify me later. Okay, I'm looking at correlates with autism. Please sort yourself spreadsheet. Afraid this isn't females. I'm just looking at females right now. New Herberg, like I, I, I might write a book. Like the amount of data in this is freaking huge. I haven't, I can't, I looked at it, it's just too big to look at. Uh, so I'm not going to just like do a cute little write-up. If I write about this, it's going to be book. Bruh. A good or bad use of polling? Is there any bad use of polling? No. Oh man, I guess I could share my window, huh? Okay. Autism is correlated with, this is in females being attracted to trans people at 0.218. So there's that. I didn't know that, that's actually pretty cool. Autists are in trans, this makes sense because trans people are so autistic. Okay. Uh, if people identify their gender as male, Again, this is wrong inside of biological females. So if bio females identify their gender as male, this, this is a 0.18 correlation with autism. The data from my Substack? You mean my write-ups? Or are you talking about a spreadsheet? Okay, fuck you. Okay, guys, don't don't show this with anybody. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Guys, I want tips. I miss, I should be doing this on like a sex cam site is what I should be doing. So you can send me like $1 occasionally and I can be like, like that. The link in the chat, chat, oh, it was okay, okay. Thank you, thank you for reminding me. Thank you for preventing me from making a horrible mistake. YouTube has a tipping feature. Can you tip me? Can somebody give me a dollar? Look, I have cleavage. <laughs> I feel like I'm like 22 again. Uh, that was like my entire 20 year of being 22. Tip me, I have cleavage. It's a little more explicit than that. Okay, fuck it, whatever. Okay, we're looking at autism. Poly people are autists more. Having social anxiety, autism. I have to set up super chats. Fuck. Oh, I don't think I might not have like the ability to. I don't think I've like had enough content on my YouTube channel yet. Okay. Then the strongest negative correlation with autism is being cis. Cisgender people are just OP, bro. Okay. Point three. Negative 0.3 correlation with being cis. I didn't record occupation. Do you worry about data safety? Like you're talking about privacy? How the data change when it viral? Okay, I can look at height. Um, I can, I can, so it's, it's like complicated, but right now the easiest way for me to check to see if data changes is to check contrast with what I've already published on my blog. So I can check the change with bestiality, for example, because this is the one that I did a deep dive into. So let me do that. Okay. Whew. 
Okay, interest in bestiality. Oh, I just I just have the the one to the, the sorry the zero to five interest. Ah. Chris, I do not have a plan. Has Sasha Norfer kink it away his belly? I don't understand. Yes, it is true. I mean, yeah, I, I can go through and look at it. Like, it is within my capacity. It's just like, if I am live streaming, my computer does not have the ability to run my Python code. And it also takes about an hour to run my Python code. Uh, and then I would have to remember how to look at the average of like certain indexes versus others. I'm a noob to programming. So anyway, if I wanted to check the difference, like make two contrasting spreadsheets between pre-viral versus post-viral, um, it would it would take me a bit to do, and I'm not gonna do that right now. Inspiration for my day. Well, there's a couple things. One, I had a big question, right? Because, like, I was fucking around with doing polling for years. And it, this one thing kept coming up, which is that male doms are fewer than female sub subs. And I was like, what the fuck? That's really weird. Like, that just, like, triggered some sort of, I don't understand what the hell is governing dominance and submission and why this is not consistent across genders. <laughs> Yeah, true. I do. I do plan on. I do plan on really looking at it. You can see that there's some indication. Um, I have a write up about like who took my kink survey, and I check the other category. Um, and I think the other category is most likely to be the thing that's going to be what TikTok is like. Um, here, here it is. Welcome. I I asked broadly, so you should just like skim that thing up that I just linked. Uh, this is me breaking down how the answers change. So before it went viral, I did look at source and check how there were differences. And in general, it was not significant differences before between source. Um, I did, it was like slightly viral before it went super viral on TikTok. So a lot of the people taking this were people like uh, several steps removed from my personal circles. Um, so Gasa, yeah, I, I have found what my, my theory is that testosterone co correlates to sexual dominance. Um, if I, like, depending on, like, how you measure it. AD, uh, yes, I have a couple ways to weed out liars. It's not, like, 100% robust, but I, I think it's, like, fine. Um, Ruben, I don't know, probably. Sure, why not? I Yes, I know the date that people took and finished the survey. I have that recorded. Uh, I did not ask about phobias, Norma. I'm trying to think if I asked about anything. So, like, like maybe the closest thing is I asked about, like, PTSD. I could check correlations for that if you want. Most surprising data point. Um, well, I just found out that autists are in trans people, which I guess is not that surprising in hindsight, but it's really nice to see things in the data. So that's pretty cool. I am surprised to find that bestiality is much more common given how taboo it is. BCL is maybe like the strongest outlier. Uh, that and attraction to teens. Wait, what is very impressive? Tell me about what the impressive thing is. Okay. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm still looking at. Okay, let's check, let's check BMI and females. Be romantic? Uh, I have uh, unfortunately no recollection of this. Teens, like 13 to 18 year olds, 17, sorry, I specified underage in the question. Okay. Uh, I can check to see if male sub is correlated with trauma. You're really just slamming the questions in here. Yeah, I definitely want to know how good I am. You would subscribe? Why do you not already subscribe? Yeah, uh, yeah, 
the 13 so the, so attraction to teens is about as common as bestiality let that freaking sink in it's uh, at least people willing to admit attraction to teens in and on in the survey I did in my survey, I reassured people a lot being like, I know just experiencing arousal from a thing does not mean you would act on a thing or approve on it. I did like do a lot of that throughout the survey in an attempt to like mitigate the whole like, oh, I'm a bad person if I'm into this thing. Um, yeah, I'm I'm referring to AFAB, yeah. I'm like distinguishing to like, I'm distinguishing with, like female versus woman in this. Uh, I don't, this is, I'm not trying to make a political point or anything. It's just like, you have to pick some way to split it and uh, right now, uh, by like last I checked, biological uh, trans women are closer in their sexual preferences to um, cis males than they are to biological females. So I'm like roughly grouping them, just going by the sex as opposed to gender. But as I'm not uh, attached to it. Thanks, Ruben. I do have a Substack. Subscribe to my Substack if you like. If you want to support me. Um, yeah, my Python is a nightmare. I mean, I am also like my my CSV is two and a half gigs right now. Assigned female birth. I mean, assigned female birth is female. Like I'm referring to like the biological thing. Plus, it's more syllables. I'm not like I'm not like, I'm not, like trying to make a point. I'm just like I just I would prefer to have something a little shorter than assigned female birth. Okay, looking at BMI, net correlated and negative. Point three with people's self-rated attractiveness. Also correlated at negative 0.17 with social class, like higher social class being higher. Um, everything else looks like it's small, like 0.1. I, I like I only really give the time of day for anything over 0.12. Memory, I just it's curiosity, bro. Like I said, I got into this thing originally because of the confusion about the gap between dominance and submission scores between males and females. I also personally have some fetishes that are really bizarre, and I wanted to know how bizarre they were. Uh, I now know how bizarre they are. Turns out very bizarre. Okay. Uh, weight is correlated at 0.28 with people's age. Makes sense. It's also correlated with 0.15 with being depressed also makes sense. 0.14 with the total amount of toys, sexual toys people selected, and being in a mythical creatures. Also associated with a later start for creepy fetishes, like like onset, age of onset. I did have a breakdown of animal, Brian. Yeah, you should read my bestiality write-up. Um, Y'all, I'm surprised. It's like in my brain, everybody reads everything I ever write. Ugh. In this, I have a. This is one I only had like 35,000 responses or something. But um, and we got ranked animals there. Uh, yes, I actually forgot. It's funny you asked that question. Uh, <laughs> I have a graph that is uh, exactly that. You can check out my graph. Guys, just, just glance through my sub stack. Okay, so you all asked a lot of questions that I've written long blog posts in depth about. Um, just like glance at the last five or six posts. Okay. Okay, what am I looking at? I'm going back to my correlations. Okay. Wait, what was I gonna look at after this? I did I ask about wolves? I asked about werewolves. And I were uh, yeah, I asked about werewolves. And I asked about wolves in transformations, but not in bestiality. Uh there is a D. There's a correlation between attraction to self as a woman and transgenderism. I can't tell you, Squared. The next ask cold drop questions are a secret. They're also not finalized. I am in fact a dancer. Yes. I actually in the middle of an autogatophilia blog post right now. 
Um, but I can maybe, maybe I can show you my graph. My graph. Sorry, this is why I never want to get Botox. I'd like to preserve my facial expressions. Now I'm probably going to get Botox. I'm trying to maintain my sexual power, you know. The hottest animal is a dog, according to my data. Dog closely followed by horses, and then we have a big gamp, and then we have everything else. Like squid. No, I'm hunting now. This is why I need Botox is to preserve it. You know how people get wrinkles? They do that from moving their face. Okay, okay, wait, wait. I'm, I'm getting you guys, I'm getting you guys a special exclusive graph. Hold on, hold on, stop distracting me. I mean, you can't distract me, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look, hold on. Okay, this, okay. I wish I could just post images. No, I'm gonna have to upload it to Inger, okay. Fuck. Fuck me in the, oh, that worked. Okay, this is unpublished. Did that work? Did that my Imgur work? Um, these are not finished, but, and this is before the viral explosion. You all failed to upload, come on. I'm trying to get you the other one. There we go. There's something to explore in the wolf dog thing, yeah? Okay, here are the two links for uh, existing as male and masturbating as a uh, female, male, whatever. Uh, I know who, they. it doesn't look like a sub-community. Like, it went viral. It would look real viral. Like, one of them, I think, had, like, 2 million likes, not even views, 2 million likes. The other one had like 300,000 likes and like a couple million views. Just average from negative five to five. Oh, uh, it's negative three to positive three. I've never dated Emil Kierkegaard. I have hung out with him though. Yeah, I didn't. I tried posting my big graph today. It was beautiful, but um, Reddit has an agenda against sex workers. So whenever I post anything anywhere, people hate who hate me because I'm a sex worker mass report anything I post. So if any subreddit has an automatic thing where they remove posts after a certain amount of mass reports, I get taken down. Um, and then the botters have to manually come back and put it up. So based on the Reddit algorithm, this just generally means that like, I just can't post with most subreddits. It's really unfortunate. Discrimination, woo. I don't know what that question is. Recommender? I I would do people really need kink recommender? I feel like I feel like if you're into a kink, you you know better the kinks you would be better than any recommender could. Like people are very motivated to discover all of the relevant kinks to them. I don't use Instagram that much. I don't know. You should follow me on Instagram though. If you use it. Okay, we're going to keep looking at correlations. Correlations. I wish that I wish my humor were more sophisticated because like when I get goofy, it's not it's not like a sharp classic wit. It's not it's like I'm never gonna say anything that's gonna people are gonna like record and then like tell stories about. No, it's always like I, like like I, like mimicking a baby or making a stupid face. It's not sophisticated at all. 
Okay, we're uploading dudes. The dude. My Instagram is Ayla Girl. <laughs> I I made an Arwen costume, so I gotta have to wear it. Everybody says I look like Arwen. I have not really looked at existing research. Oh wait, guys, let's let's look at childhood trauma. No, no, no. Wait. Okay, wait. Maybe it's Ayla's life. Actually, I forgot. I don't use fucking Instagram, but you should follow me anyway, even though I don't use it. I think it's Ayla's life. That one. <laughs> Thank you. The four families of kink. I can look at that. Yeah. I don't even, you don't even have to be for a friend. There's no shame in kinks. You can be the weird shit. I don't judge. I don't judge. You can be the people shit in your mouth. Don't care. I'm like pro. I'm like, good job. I hope you get people shit in your mouth safely. I empathize. Okay. This is male. I, uh, I'm probably going to be on like this podcast if we finally get it finalized. Okay. It looks like, oh my God, guys, what is it this hard to find? If people can't find me on Instagram based on the drunken shit I'm saying, then Instagram sucks. Okay, what? <laughs> I'm like Googling my own name. <laughs> it's Ayla's life, guys. Uh. If Destiny can ask me if he wants me to do something. I'm not, I've, I've been, I've done like a gajabillion podcasts. Like, it's not fun. It's not like, I'm not, not like, thrilled anymore to do podcasts, but I like will if somebody asks me. Yeah, it's just Ayla, it's just Ayla's life. It's just Ayla's life. No gap. I don't know who they both here are. Who is they both? My music names? Okay, we're looking at male correlations now. You guys want to look at sexual childhood trauma or just general childhood trauma? I asked about a bunch of different kinds of childhood trauma, which are all correlated to each other, by the way. I don't know. Can you can you guys like sell this? I don't like watch Destiny stuff that much, or I don't watch it at all. <laughs> uh, but they seem nice. I have like a generally vaguely positive opinion of the community, but I don't know much about it. Am I double jointed? I don't know. I do not. I did not ask about medical trauma. Oh my god. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, I gotta go back and read. Um, it was kink. Um. I think I would like to understand transformations more. I don't think I really grok the transformations. I mean, I don't grok like most of them, but. I, a, a huge portion of the reason I like data is in fact fun. I like, I like podcasts that challenge me. Honestly, I'm so fucking used to the podcast. Like, oh, Ayla, how lovely. Tell us about sex work. And I'm like, great. It's, and no shade on that, by the way. It's like I had a really great time. But I'm at the point, I'm at the point in my life where I want somebody to be like, I think you're wrong. That's all I fucking want. I just want the thrill. I want the fight. I want the challenge. I want to, I want to be like, no, you're wrong. That's what I want. That's what I crave. I'm looking at sexual assault in childhood. In males, females, what you want? <laughs> I think I'm done with Mr. Gomez. I, I appreciate my experience with him, but there's like a type of person, like an archetype, that where I'm like, ah, I do not want that in my life. And Mr. Go is that archetype. Uh, the unheard interview is a little bit challenging. I like that. 
I don't know what dimensionality reduction is. Could you explain it? I don't know if I'm double jointed. Oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna hate it. You're gonna look at it and you're gonna like start vomiting a little bit in your mouth. You're gonna like wake up at 3 a.m. like in a cold sweat with it in your dreams. Try and like watch some like nice YouTube videos about kittens to get it out of there. Okay. Okay, wait, we're looking at <laughs> Uh, as a hot, not that I know of. I mean, there probably is. I did not ask about narcissism. I saw various mental illnesses, but not narcissism. I did like, you can like touch your thumb to your wrist. Can you do that? Uh, for a while, my, my family has a connective tissue disorder. And so for the longest time, I thought I had that disorder because I'm really flexible. Clearly a Star Trek fan. Jesus. Okay. <sighs> Not really any kings with political leanings. Um, no, Lois Steets, it's a much rarer syndrome. For a while, my, my family thought it was um, Marfan syndrome, but it's Lois Steets. If you want to Google my family's genetics, there you go. Yeah. Are you sure? is, is dimensionality reduction like factor analysis? I did not ask about insults. So it's, I feel like I asked about everything <laughs> except for what you guys are asking about. Eating disorders. Oh, I did ask about eating disorders in males or females. Oh, I, did I lose my fuck? Sorry. I, I, why did it go? Yeah, I'm trying to look at. Okay. I'd love to try that. I'm a little bit nervous about like the way that my survey was constructed, that it'll like ar introduce artificial clusters, but win some, lose some. Yeah, the, I mean, this is part, part of my goal is to make sort of like a, like a buyer's bricks for kinks. But I totally thought that was factor analysis. I didn't know. I mean, again, yeah, I don't deeply understand factor analysis, so. I am American. America. Fuck yeah. Okay, my spreadsheet is loading. All right. Good night. I don't know what an RDS database is. I think I think maybe uh, like it's not common for people to get to the position that I'm at with as little knowledge as I have. So people in general engage with me as though I have significantly more knowledge than I have. Oh, I see, Brian. A little bit of column A, column B. Okay. I am looking at female male correlations separately, just heads up. Again. Okay, sexual assault in childhood. So for males, it looks like uh, this is associated with an earlier start for non-con fetishes. It is associated with a slightly uh, being non-cis, negative 0.12. I, I need to double check this because this is weirdly high, but uh, Sexual assault in childhood is correlated. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I just misread that. That is not weirdly high. Okay. It's correlated within males. It's correlated with experiencing sexual assault as an adult at 0.48. That's really high. Brian, that sounds great, but I don't understand. 
I don't even know what a relational bit database is. My Instagram is Ayla's life. Between weight and non-consent. Alan, I will look. Females or males? I have the correlations for both of these separately. Wait, wait. What is generation? Uh, Chris, it is, oh, as an adult, I will, I will, I can check. Um, let's see. I'm checking. No, my, my code is, I'm sure, really horrific. My Instagram is Ayla's Life. That's my Instagram. At Convo, give me, a, give me a bit. It's just a little slow for me to look things up. I'm like, now I'm looking things up in a spreadsheet, but it's still... Okay. I'm still looking up non-consent and weight. Looks like there is a 0 0.08 correlation between being interested in non-consent and having higher weight. Point. So it's it's pretty minor. It's it's real. Like there's a highly unlikely to be there by chance, but it's very minor. Squared. I live stream intermittently. Uh, this is for females, though. Let me check males. There's also a direct link to my Instagram on my FetLife profile page. If you like, if you like, if you put like 10 seconds into looking a little harder, you would see. Okay. Come on. I am looking for a female correlation. <sighs> Oh, no, now it's waiting. Now it's frozen. Oh, wait, there we go. I can check. I can check the age. Okay, maybe I'll do that. The problem is I go keep going back and forth between these things. I have the age fixed. Age was one of those ones where I fucked it up. Because I asked about whether people are into age stuff. But then I also asked them about their age. How old are you and BDSM? I wish to, I wish this were faster. I've had a lot of people recommend SQL. Yeah, go for it, Norma. Sounds good. The problem is I have like 80 things I asked about that I tagged with bondage. Okay, total bondage. Total bondage is not correlated with age. 0 0.02, basically nothing. It's basically a fake. Attraction to minors. Which kind of minors? Are you talking about babies and toddlers, children, or teens? And also the strongest correlations aren't going to be that interesting. Like... The strongest correlation of attraction to babies is probably attraction to children. You know, like, okay, teens? Okay. Um, what, did I, what did I tag that as? I, oh, teens final. That's what I tagged it as. Good job, past Ayla. All right. Okay. 
Okay. Strongest negative correlation with interest in teens is interest in consent at point negative one eight. Um, the thing is, like, like earlier fetish starts tend to be correlated with things across the board. So anytime I check any correlation with anything, usually there's a bunch of like this fetish started earlier for people who like this. <laughs> and thanks for cast, cast some, cast a raster. Um, I can check that in a minute, but give me a sec. Okay. Um, and then we get into just a bunch of really small fetishes. Strongest positive correlation with being interested in teens is being interested in age stuff in general. Being interested in incest at 0.29. Um, brother, sister, incest. Brother, sister, incest with age gap. Age regression um, at 0.23. Interest in caregiver, little girl, daddy, gr little girl dynamic cycle play at 0.23. Uh, interest in general pedophilia at 0.22. Father, daughter interest at 0.22. Interest in bestiality at 0.2. That's interesting. So this is this is correlation with people who are interested in teens, just to remind you guys. Um, yeah. Total non-consent. Things. Yeah, 0.18. Uh, this is in males, by the way. I'm looking at females. Looking at females. Yeah, unclear. I mean, I do have data on the things that are forbidden. Uh, that will probably be your final score. Like, I could check tab things with that. Uh, no, I, I had a cutoff. So you have to complete at least half the survey for your data to be included. Um, I mean, creepy fetishes are things where, like, the fetish is primarily determined by, like, a creepiness thing. So, like, zombies, for example, um, would be under the creepy category. Or, like... Uh, scariness, this Halloween, monsters, that sort of thing. Where was I going to look at? Okay, I might I might actually log off soon. It's been an hour, a whole freaking hour. Oh, bestiality, sub or dumb thing. Okay, I can look at that. Probably. Okay, bestiality is there. Come on. Uh, male versus female. I can check that. Let me see. Give me a second. <laughs> the problem is I keep like I'm in the middle of looking for a fetish and somebody asks the thing and I should immediately switch. It's not good. Um, I did not ask about beards, I don't think. Oh, Rowan, that is cool. Yeah, it does make sense. Uh, I think in principle, I'm down to talking to red pill guys. I mean, depends. Like, I, I don't like talking to people who are, like, really hostile to me. Because it's like, what's the fucking point if you're going to... And red pill guys tend to be kind of hostile towards me. Okay. Okay, for teens final, um, this is a negative three, I think, to positive three scale. Um... Biological males scored negative 0.59. Biological females scored negative 1.77. <laughs> yeah, I did not have too much in the survey focused on um, like specific physical traits that are hot or not. I did focus on some of them as like specifically fetish oriented, but not very common ones.
People can drop their Twitters here if you want, but follow me on Twitter. A lot of the people who respond to me a lot are in the circles. Okay, bestiality subcorrelation. Okay, I'm gonna look at the bestiality submission correlation. Let's check females. It's just, it's just searching it. It's a little hard because I have so many. Okay, where's the... It's taking forever to load. It's not very exciting. It's like, no, I don't want the dom in total state of moskism or financial domination or world of male dom or world of female dom or condoms or condoms again, used versus unused. Dom, there we go. Okay, 104.5. Okay, doms versus bestiality, which I think is B. BK. No. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're sort of an easier way to do this. Okay. The correlation between bestiality, being interested in bestiality at all, and dominance is a missing. I just scroll, scrolled past it. Come on. Please load. Is negative 0 0.01. Basically, no, there's no correlation between being interested in bestiality and being a dom or a sub. No, no correlation. My apologies. Actually, no, I'm not apologizing. Lack of correlation is very interesting. Uh, that was in females, though. I just checked females. Okay. All right, guys, I think I might log off now. This was fun. Thank you very much for hanging out, asking me questions, and letting me ask you questions about statistics that nobody properly answered, but that's fine. This is you chat. I think you have a limit on the amount of characters you can type in. Um, autism, okay, wait, okay, okay, I'll do autism. In. Uh, I, I, for last I checked, there weren't, I think I just checked autism in males, actually. Um. It wasn't really correlated with kinks. It was correlated with interest in trans people. Right, I don't remember. There, there were a couple things where I feel like I asked, like, what is that? And then people, no, honestly, maybe people try to answer, but like did not understand the level of answer that I needed. Okay, autism in males. Correlated with total mental illness. Attracted to trans at 0.19. Um, social anxiety, total amount of fetishes at 0.13, polyamory at 0.13, interested in animated porn at 0.13, so not very strong, but like interested in, in androgyny at 0.12, a uh, general taboo score at 0.12, neuroticism at 0.12, mythical creatures at 0.11. <laughs> David, I mean, there's like huge, vast, massive amount of information. If you want to follow it, I would recommend subscribing to my Substack, which is ala.substack.com. But I do comprehensive write-ups or announcements or anything about this, the data I posted there. So. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's not really strong correlations with autism. Like there's like a couple like minor, no, not BDSM. I mean,
Let me see. <laughs> well, right now I'm using Google Sheets to browse my correlation matrix. Um, oh, thank you, Squared. But the problem is it's like a thousand by a thousand. So Google Sheets is heaving and wheezing. Um, okay, okay, what 10, 10? Point zero eight eight is the correlation between uh, autism and interest in BDSM in, uh, sorry, specifically bondage. Uh, I, there's a lot of, I kind of like separated out all the things of BDSM. There's not like a single interest spectrum in BDSM, but if you, the general bondage, the average of the bondage scores, um, point zero eight, which is pretty negligible. Um, yeah. Anyway. Okay. I'm actually going to log off now. <laughs> Uh, I'm doing the python dot c o r r. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good night, guys. I have to pee really bad. This is contributing to my desire to log off. All right, bye bye. <laughs>